we speak to state bjp president sunil jakhar sir uh, you have recently witnessed the rebellion uh, in the uh, akali dal what do you feel about the scenario you have already raised concerns about the vote share of the akali dal dipping and the weakening of the party and the threat it poses for the state so how do you th uh, think is i think that it is a people's message they make all it whatever operation lotus or something it has people have performed their duty people have conducted this operation which you might call uh, cutting uh, said to its size but i think one message is very clear which sukhveer ji is not willing to read his writing on the wall mm -hmm. that is perform or perish mm -hmm. what he is facing today the rebellion is because he has not been able to deliver what was expected of him Mm -hmm. and this is what mr chandu majra ji is or jagir kaurs and dinsa saab that's what they expected and that's what they were worried about that without the help of bjp sukhveer badal will not be in a position to win any seats mm -hmm. and their apprehension seems to have come true mm -hmm. yeah, akali dal has totally flopped mm -hmm. so i think that their point is established now it is sukhveer badal ji how to carry them along rather than blaming bjp for it i think it is a simple message as a president you have failed not once twice three times you have failed and now it's getting worse every time and this uh, sharad that he, they are this bada bhai chota bhai syndrome kind of thing which i said it has been totally uh, proven that there is no bada bhai if there is any bada bhai was there bada bhai it seems to be the bjp we have got more vote share, share than uh, akali dal so rather than introspecting he is trying to put the blame on bjp which nobody is going to accept not even his own staunch followers or the staunch akali people they see the writing i think sukhbir ji has to mend his ways this vacuum that you repeatedly talking about which has been created due to the you know sort of a sort of a weakening of the panthic voice which the akali dal was the uh, i i i i stand corrected it is not weakening of the akali dal i mm -hmm. think it is the loss of credibility of the leadership right because akali dal by itself by the very fact that it is a representative political wing of panth mm. doesn't have to depend upon its political numbers it is the credibility of the leader mm -hmm. and first they did it uh, sgpc in that the sgpc is nobody takes sgpc seriously earlier i think the prime minister would be very happy to have met the sgpc president now even the sdms do not uh, give them an appointment mm -hmm. so that is what has sukhbir ji and their uh, family rule which has reduced sgpc in its status i think now they have done the same to akali dal and this is what they pay the price for and, and, so for and but this gives a rise to these people otherwise they all these ultra think people who have ultra kind of leanings or people who have radical thoughts they would have had somewhere a platform or a leader where they could vent their feelings and those feeling, feelings could be addressed or could be answered now that they are on their own they are taking it to the center stage and they are getting a following because people don't see uh, they, they this kind of a sense of being victimized being a minority all these things are being exploited by the people who yeah whatever their motivation may be but that could have been addressed had they been a credible akali dal or a credible akali dal leader who could carry everybody along Do you think the BJP has any say in the scenario, or the BJP does it want to project itself to? Oh. BJP is angling that we are going to be a serious player in Punjab. In 27, I think we will do better than 19 percent. We are looking at 40 percent. So th this is this is the point. Like once we are in a position that we will assuage these feelings, we will address these kind of uh, fears and anxieties of these people because there's when um, India belongs to all, and in India everybody has a uh, equal rights. There's no nothing about majoritarianism or anything. This is what these people have not been able to address. So it is clear this year that the BJP's agenda and uh, poll planks have resonated with the urban populace of the. state where it has gained in vote share so what would be the plan for 2027 especially in the rural areas where the party a faced a, faced some opposition and plus the vacuum that you talked about how does bjp claim to uh, 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 plan to reclaim the space which is being left by the colonial people say that there were many issues about this kind of a bogey which was created that it is anti farmer or mm -hmm. anti sikh mm -hmm. this bogey uh, about the what is being anti sikh i already said this is what the sgpc mm -hmm. and the akali dal are headed by sardar prakash singh badal and so easy this is what they had to say about the same prime minister whom the today says is against six and at the same time the problem the farming is distressed it needs redressal it needs but i think what they are propagating as a solution is not really it doesn't help punjab farming at all mm -hmm. punjab needs a assured income so that 
they can shift from the water guzzling paddy which is doing uh, to the detriment of Punjab in mm -hmm. long run the mm -hmm. water table is going is go going to disappear so what they are suggesting is not but it can only be resolved by taking all the stakeholders on board have an open discussion and I'm happy that we have Sh 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 Shivraj Singh Chuhan mm -hmm. because this is the only state during his tenure as a chief ministership where the Grow, agriculture growth rate was double what, what was uh, uh, national uh, agriculture Does growth rate. Does BJP have a reach out plan to the farmers? Of course, we will. We will definitely. Uh, even now, mm -hmm. three times our central leaders came, Minister mm -hmm. of Agriculture Minister came here and talked to them. But I think talking to just a few couple of them, the so-called uh, self-appointed leaders is not enough. We have to take everybody, all the stakeholders. Some Just because somebody is sitting on a dharna doesn't mean that he represents the entire community. He may have whatever their own interest, but we have farmers' interest in our agenda. We have to address this and it has to be not just for Punjab, it has to be the entire country. Mm -hmm. Each farmer has his own uh, set of problems. Even within Punjab, our area, Malwa, has a different issues. We don't have any paddy. We have already gone into what you call uh, diversification, all, all our areas and the orchard, and we are facing problems. And the people who are growing paddy, they have their own uh, own set of problems because the depleting water level, the power uh, becoming scarce now. So it has to be looked into a totality this whole issue. And so speaking about the Jalandhar West Bipole, the candidate of the BJP has earned many kind of ejected from the Ahmadbi Party and the Congress. The Ahmadbi Party is uh, calling him a Palturam and he's also been called corrupt. How do you address those charges? He has come, what you call is a homecoming, he has mm. come back and mm -hmm. they are also leveling so many charges. Mm -hmm. So he was part of them. Why didn't they take any action? Mm -hmm. If they had arrested Mr. Vijay, uh, the health minister at that time, or they mm -hmm. taken action, Mr. And the uh, Bhatinda rural MLA or Mr. Sarari or oh, there are so many of these people who have been involved. What what kept them from taking any action? Yes, the BJP him? BJP leaders, the MP uh, candidate has also been raising Mr. Sushil Rinku that there may be FIRs against him or we may be they victimized may, yes, that way will, by the but way. Let me tell you, there were uh, in his own affidavit he had mentioned nine cases cases Jee, against him. Jee. Let me tell you, five of them have already been discharged. He has been discharged by the court. Mm -hmm. And the remaining are, are only about breaching this uh, section 144. Or one is that uh, didn't follow the curfew during the corona time when he was trying out, out helping people. And all these, uh, what you call demonstrations when there is 144 uh, imposed, I think even the candidate Mr. Mahendra Bhagat, he is also with him. Mm -hmm. They were both in BJP. Mm -hmm. Who is Palturam now? Mm -hmm. At least uh, Mr. Sheetalangaral has come back to his homecoming, whereas Mr. Mahendra Bhagat was also part of BJP. Is this, should we call him a Palturam? We don't want to, it is his choice. He maybe sees something which others don't, mm -hmm. but uh, his choice where he wants to go. And sir, you have spoken at length about it already, but the CM has shifted to the city uh, last evening. Do you think, he, he seems very his, confident in his... He confidence is one thing, but I think in shifting here, he has negated all that he has done two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. He said there will be home delivery of services. You pick up the phone, dial 1076, a guy will come and sort out uh, 43 of services. What happened to those services? Why is uh, there is a requirement that he has to come here? Mm. Well, how is it different than what Badal Sahib used to do earlier, Sangat Darshan? This is virtually mm. a Sangat Darshan. Mm. And here is a Sangat without any Darshan mm. because he doesn't meet even his own MLAs, Bhagwant Maanji. Mm. So many of the MLAs have not even had a one-to-one -one meeting in two and a half years with him. Mm. I can name at least 15 of them. He said so, the, that I will be uh, reaching out to the people of Doha, but yes. this is my prime aim and <laughs> government will run for two days from Jalan. For all the helicopter fuel that he has burned, hasn't he enough reached out enough? Because mm -hmm. he does his road shows and that's enough. He doesn't interact with people, doesn't let people. Mm -hmm. What to talk of people? Mm -hmm. He doesn't even meet his own MLAs. So th that's it. That's the issue. I think he's just making, uh, befooling people of Punjab and especially people of Jalandhar West now. And so my final two questions to you. One, the, uh, you have said that the Jalandhar West Bible uh, message needs to be sent against the divisive or radical forces in the state. It what do you mean by that? people's confidence that only BJP leadership has a, has a strong leadership ability mm -hmm. because these this, this kind of a situation needs strong action. Mm -hmm. That's why all these forces are raising head in Punjab. Punjab has ever since the dark days of uh, those terrorism. Mm -hmm. It's all peace and quiet till now that it has come. The gangsters are ruling the roost from the jails. Mm -hmm. There are theft, uh, kidnappings every day, drug and liquor mafia is prevailing. And on top of that, now this ultra thinking and the radicalism is taking shape. Whom, whom do they turn to? Congress is already seeking uh, mercy from the Bhagwantman. Bhagwantman has no hold of the administration. 
you think they are capable of handling uh, Punjab, uh, securing the uh, future of Punjab? They, when they look at it and they look around, I think it is only the BGP the leadership of Pradhan Mantri Modi who could settle a long pending issue of 370, uh, abolishing 370. Kashmir is now rather peaceful than what it was earlier. Elections are about to take place. So people, they may be not very well educated, they may not be rich, but I think they do understand these nuances that who could really save, uh, uh, secure their lives, secure the future of Punjab. The Punjab needs a hand holding and that's only BJP. And so my final question, the crisis that uh, Akali Dal finds itself in, do you think it will sort of strengthen the BJP's position in the state because, you know, Akali BJP formed the government and the Akali Dal is in the crisis right now? No, I don't, I don't look at it from a political point of view. I'm more worried about the safety and security of Punjab, mm -hmm. about the future of Punjab, whether there is going to be peace and amity. And uh, this is a, what has happened now, this has become a fertile ground for ISI to meddle in. Okay. This needs to be covered, mm -hmm. whether it is a, whether it is a sad leadership rises to the occasion mm -hmm. or whether it, otherwise the people also, because this vacuum of leadership after, kept, I have no hesitation saying that. Mm -hmm. The last real chief minister Punjab has had is Captain Navarinder Singh. After okay. that, whether it was six months of Congress party or whether now two and a half years, they are, I think, a very poor uh, replace, not even replacement. They don't even deserve to be called the chief minister. So, so this question needs a big asking. Who do you think is the strongest leader who could step in? And there is right now, but I think the vacuum doesn't stay for long. There will somebody, people will find a leader. Sir. Mm -hmm. This is always people, they thought uh, every time there is an occasion, a large leader is uh, no more, then somebody takes his shape, but not this present set of people, the present uh, Congress leadership mm -hmm. or the present uh, Ahmadmi party. I, at mm -hmm. least, I don't see any hope. Right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Sir. Thank you. Very good.